Hey guys, I'm back and we're going to be talking about the four critical tips to reversing a fatty liver. I've already did a complete video on a fatty liver, how to handle that. I put the link down below. But in this video, we're going to talk about the four critical tips, okay? And these are the points to emphasize. These are the most important things. In fact, you got to realize if you have a fatty liver, it's not just that there's fat in the liver. It's dysfunctional. The liver cells are damaged, okay? And so um, we need to actually fix that. Number one, okay, organic. The food that you eat must be organic. Why? Primarily because we don't want the pesticide, insecticide, herbicide, fungicide, those type of things, right? But primarily, the most commonly used herbicide is uh, glyphosate, which is the one they use in making GMO type foods. And it's in soy oil. It's in so many foods. So what we want to do is we want to make sure they don't, we don't keep putting back in that herbicide, that glyphosate, um, that GMO food. So that's one thing. We want to do organic because if it's organic, it doesn't have GMO. Uh, and we also want to detoxify the glyphosate and other chemicals from the liver. And there's a, a, a compound called glutathione, okay? And that's produced by the liver. It's also in certain vegetables. These vegetables will stimulate also the production of of that compound to help break down uh, the chemicals. And it's, it's a sulfur-based compound. And uh, garlic, onion, radish, cruciferous, parsley, all those really uh, kind of pungent, uh, bitter vegetables. Really good for the liver, vital in fact. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is um, keep your insulin really, really low. Well, the, the way that you got into this uh, mess in the first place is you, you had the insulin either too high or the fatty liver came from too much alcohol or, al or, or other things that are related to that, maybe like some other types of junk foods that you've eaten. But mainly it's the insulin and the alcohol. So yes, we need to cut the alcohol out of the diet, okay? And we also need to bring insulin down. Again, I've talked about this over and over. I'm going to put another link down there if you are new to this channel. But insulin needs to come down, and we have to cut out the sugar, do intermittent fasting. And there's a lot of other things you can do, okay? So that's number two, because you can't fix this with the high insulin. It's impossible. Um, choline is number three. Choline is a B vitamin that is very essential uh, for dissolving or, or uh, breaking down fat from the liver. It's called lipotrophic. It breaks down lipids or fats. Guess what food? It's actually in egg yolks. It's in seafood, wheat germ, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and other cruciferous vegetables, okay? All right, so you may even consider just consuming this as a supplement as well because we want to uh, get more of it right now just to really break that stuff down. Now, as these chemicals are coming out of the liver through the gallbladder, out through the intestine, okay, and the fat's coming out as well, uh, we better keep our vegetables very, very high uh, because we want to prevent uh, constipation or any type of backup. So we want to keep the vegetables high to start flushing all this fat out and keep the system clean. Uh, also, this overlaps because all the great phytonutrients and the liver supporting and uh, the, the factors that build up the liver nutrition-wise are all in vegetables. So we have to consume at least six to ten cups. But just realize these are the most important things out of everything. So if you just focus on these, you're going to be in really good shape. Last point is the liver takes a long time to um, rejuvenate. I mean, it could take up to three years of healthy eating. Um, yeah, so have patience. Keep putting in your health. Keep creating health every single day, and you will get there. Thanks for watching.